YouTube, it's Amy, and this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Tuesday vlogger for the month of September. And today is Wednesday, and I'm a day late, and I'm very sorry. I've been a little under the weather the last two weeks or so. Uh, I might get to a little bit of that at the end of this video, because it is a little bit related to um, something involving the topic for today, food. So, uh, today's question is, have you incorporated any new foods lately into your diet or have you avoided any new foods lately? I'm going to go over a few items that I've added that I have on hand to my diet um, in the last six months or so. Let's start here with some sweet stuff. This is Will um, Walden's Farm. Uh, pancake syrup, zero calories. It has zero calories, zero carbs, zero everything. A lot of their products taste terrible to me. I love this one. How I use this is I put this on apples and I stick them in the microwave. You can take some apples and some almonds and cut them up and put them in the microwave put some of this and some some uh, um, cinnamon on them and make them a nice gooey candy apples and you can put that over your yogurt or just eat it like that or if you eat oatmeal which I normally don't um, you could put it on that or if you make pancakes which I'm going to be making a coconut pancake, low carb, high protein pancake recipe soon. Um, either I'll post it on this channel or I will post it on my own, which I use. Another one of my new products, coconut flour. Coconut flour, I, I've, I've preached about this before. I love, coconut is, is such a healthy product for your body and it digests very easy. So I've been using coconut flour to make Pancakes, yummy, yummy pancakes and cookies. Um, let me look at the information here. It is, mm, for a fourth of a cup, it's 120 calories and four protein. But there's only about four net carbs in that. So it's very low carb flour to use. It's very sweet in tasting, so it's good for sweet breads or cookies or pancakes. And you can make the pancakes, add egg whites, add protein powder, and you can make them very high in protein, very low in carbs. Yummy, 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 if you can stand to eat something like that. Um, I've talked about these before, too, I think, that I've added into my diet. Stevia, stevia is, is so much better for your body than using regular sugar or artificial sugars like Splenda or um, what else is out there, Equal or the pink stuff, which is super bad for you. Um, this is a chocolate one that I like in my yogurt sometimes. This one's English toffee and then I also have vanilla cream that I use. I use these in my coffee. I use these in my um, shakes. I use these in my yogurt. Yogurt. I've been eating yogurt for years. I started eating yogurt in the beginning of my journey as well. But recently I've added in the Faye 0% Greek yogurt plain. Because I've learned how bad added sugars are for your body. So I have cut out table sugar completely out of my diet. I do not eat anything with more than one gram of table sugar of any kind in it. So I will take my plain Greek yogurt, which if you've never used this brand before, I get this at Costco. It's 130 calories and 23 grams of protein for one cup. A very yummy meal is an apple cut up with this, cooked in the microwave, with some cinnamon, your yogurt with your stevia drops, mix that up, and um, 
Yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. 23 grams of protein with the apple and everything, about 180 calories. Another item that I use a lot now, and uh, Banded Wendy um, has been using this a little bit longer than I have. I've read a lot about it from one of the books that I recommended um, to to you guys, the Eating Clean, the uh, Ta. Uh, is it Tosca? I'm saying her name wrong. The Eating the eating Clean book, I'll put it down below. Um, I think it's Tosca Reno or something like that. She recommends um, adding flex seeds to your diet. I will put these in the pancakes that I make. I will put these in cookies. Any baked goods that I make, I will throw this in um, with yogurt. If I'm making a quiche or something that I can mix them in, I'll mix them in, and and in, in hopes that it will help with my digest system, which I've had issues with lately. Being almost what two and a half, between two and a half and three years out, I have been having a lot of issues lately with. Close your ears if you don't want to hear this. Uh, constipation. I have been really really sick in the last two weeks mm -hmm. and I uh, credit that to possibly adding back in milk into my system and eating a few things that I haven't eaten in a long time I um, haven't really gone for two weeks and it's taken a lot of fiber and laxatives to get my system straightened out so I have taken away um, drinking pure milk because I may be slightly slightly lactose intolerant but it made me completely toxic I was in bed I had gas and bloating I've actually lost five pounds in the bathroom in the last 24 hours if you guys can understand that um, it's it's been pretty ridiculous I feel a hundred percent better now but it's hard for me to tell what happened or why this happened, but I know that I need to add more fiber back into my diet and stay off of milk for a while. See you guys soon. See you next week. Have a great day. Bye.